I had some visa problem. I won't go into details. A man from the al Azhar failed. So he brings an Egyptian lady, well attired, westernized lady, well spoken. And he says, this lady will help you. So she tried and she failed. So she tells me, look, sit for half an hour and I will try and see what I can do for you. She returns after over an hour and says, I want $40. I said, look, I'm a guest of the government. He said, look, $40. 20 for you, 20 for your son. I give her the $40. She was so well spoken, so I'm asking her, my smuki, what little I know a few words about Arabic. I said, my smuki, what is your name? So she gave me a name. I can't remember because it was so strange to me. Now I never heard a name like that in my life. It went through one side, came out the other side. <laughs> my second question. I said, Anta Muslima? Are you Muslim? She says, no, I'm a Christian. I said, right. Right. To me, she's my customer. Look, this is what the Muslim ought to be doing, looking for customers. Every Muslim, you know one fact? Look for a customer, for that one fact. Our Nabi Karim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, he said, Balligwani walau ayah. Deliver the message regarding me, even if it is one verse. If you know one fact, give it, man, give it. And Allah will give you more. This is the secret of knowledge. If you have one, you give. That one, you keep on giving. And Allah adds another, and another. And your knowledge explodes, expands. This is the secret of learning. Give, man, give. So I said, now here's an opportunity. I said, you know, knowing now she's a Christian and she's an Egyptian, so I said, you know Jesus, before he parted, he said, لَكِنِّي أَكُولُ لَكُمُ الْحَقُّ إِنَّهُ خَيْرُ لَكُمْ إِنْ أَنْتَلِكَ لِأَلَّهُ إِلَّا مَنْ تَلِكَ لَا يَعْتِيكُمُ الْمُؤَزِّ وَلَكِنْ إِنْ زَهَبْتُ أُرْسِلْهُ إِلَيْكُمْ I didn't translate it for her, because she understood what I said. For your benefit, what I said was, I quoted her from the Gospel of St. John chapter 16 verse 7, where it says, nevertheless I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I go, I will send him. That's what I quoted her in Arabic. So I'm asking her, who is this Mu'azzi? La yati kumul Mu'azzi. So she says, I don't know. So I'm telling her, I said, you see in the Quran we are told that Jesus said to his disciples, وَمُبَشِّرًا بِرَسُولٍ يَعْتِي مِنْ بَعْدِ اسْمُهُ أَحْمَدٍ And giving glad tidings of a messenger to come after me whose name shall be Ahmad which is another name for Muhammad and Muhammad is Mu'azzi She says, very funny She says, you know these Egyptians, meaning the Muslim Egyptians did they, did they take us to the cinema? Did they take us to the dance? But nobody tells us about Mu'azzi She gave me a sledgehammer to beat the Muslims with Look, she says, these Egyptians, means your Muslim brothers, they take us to the cinema, this Christian woman, you take them to the cinema, you take them to the dance. And you know, from there where you go. But nobody tells us about Muazzi. So now as soon as I get into the city, I meet this elite, elite Egyptian brothers of ours. And I'm telling them, I said, look, I met an Egyptian woman just now. A meticulous person, very well educated. And this is what she tells me, that you take them to the cinema, you take them to the dance, but you te don't tell them anything about Muazzi. Is it true? And they say yes. Our brother say yes. Ask another girl. I say, is it true? He said yes. Everyone you ask, is it true? What she says? He said yes. So what's wrong with you? 1,400 years you are there. The Muslim in Egypt is ruling, he's the master. For a few years the British were there. They were masters. For a few years the French were there, but overall for 1400 years the Muslim is master of Egypt. Overall, 1400 years. And in 1400 years you have not made even a scratch on the Christian community. I want to know why. Even now, are you prepared to talk to them? No. Utterly helpless. 40 million Muslims in Egypt, they are utterly helpless, speechless. They can't talk to the Christians. They can't. I want to know why. I'm asking them. I say, you? You Muslims, I say, you read the Quran in your own mother tongue. He said, yes. I said, you understand what you read? He said, yes. I said, look, my people, you were the pa Pakistani, Bangladeshi, Hindi, my people, the non-Arab, all my people. I said, you see, my people, they read the Quran, but they don't understand what they read. But you, you understand what you are reading? He said, yes. So I said, Allah is telling you, He's telling us all, but because we don't understand, 
for us it's water on duck's back. But as is telling you, you Egyptians, Ya Ahlul Kitab, O people of the book, La Taghlu Fi Dinikum. O people of the book, meaning O Jews and Christians, La Taghlu Fi Dinikum. Say, do not go to extremes in your religion. Wa La Taqulu Ala Allah Illa Al Haq. And don't say anything about Allah except the truth. Inna Mal Masih, most certainly the Messiah, translated Christ. Inna Mal Masih, O Isa Ibn Maryam, Jesus the son of Mary, Rasulullah is a messenger of Allah. Wa Kalimatuhu, and a word proceeding from him. Al Qaha ila Maryam wa Ruhum minhum, which he bestowed upon Mary, and a spirit proceeding from him. Fa Aminu billahi wa Rasulihi. So believe in Allah and His Messenger, Jesus. Did you tell them that? He says, no. The Egyptians are telling me, no. I said, Allah tells you. He says, tell them. وَلَا تَكُولُوا سَلَاسَ Don't say Trinity. إِن تَهُوا خَيْرَ لَكُمْ This is, stop it. It will be better for you. إِنَّمَ اللَّهُ إِلَهُ وَاحِدٌ For your Allah is one Allah. He is not three in one. He is not one in three. I said, did you tell them that? He says, no. I said, Allah tells you in the Quran. لَكَتْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهُ وَالْمَسِيحُ بْنُ مَرْيَمُ Anyone who says that Jesus Christ, the son of Mary, is God, is making kufr. It's an act of blasphemy. It's treason against God. وَقَالَ الْمَسِيحُ But Christ... وَقَالَ الْمَسِيحُ But Christ said, Masih said, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, La'budu Allah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbukum, who is my Lord and your Lord, innahu man yushrik billah, whoever will associate anyone with Allah, faqad harram Allah alil jannah, Allah will make jannah haram for them, wa ma'wahu nar, and the fire of hell will be their dwelling place, wa ma'lis zalimina min ansar, and for the wrongdoers there will be no one to help, I said, did you tell them that? He says, no. Allah tells you, pull, tell them, Ya Ahl al-Kitab, O people of the book, O Jews and Christians, Ta'ala, come! Ila kalimatin sawa'in baynana wa baynakum That we come to common terms as between us and you. Let us get out to a common platform. An la na'buda illa Allah That we worship none but Allah Wa la nushrika bihi shay'an And that we associate no partners with Him Wa la yattakhiza ba'dun abadun arbaban min duni Allah And that we do not take from among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah Fa in tawallaw But if they turn back Fa kulu shahadu bi anna muslimun Tell them that we are Muslims We have submitted our wills to the will of Allah I said did you tell them that? Did you call them ta'ala? I said no I want to know why I said, you read this, you understand what you're reading? Allah is telling you, and you don't hearken. Is this applicable to us? Deaf, dumb, and blind, you will not return to the past. Is it applied to, to us? What is it? Are you deaf? Are you dumb? Why is it that you can't open your mouth? They don't know. Wallah, they don't know. I'm asking the Egyptians, how is it that 1400 years you haven't opened your mouth and even now you're not prepared to do? I want to know why. I tell you why. The secret, the secret. You see, the secret is Allah gives you. Wallah, He's given everything to us. Nobody really reads the Quran. We have half of the Quran. Qaris, yes. We rattle off the whole Quran without the slightest mistake. But we don't understand one word. Many of us. Not one word. Whole Quran we carry in our heads. But we don't understand one word. It's an amazing situation. It's a miracle. But it's a unique disgrace. Wallah. You know the whole Quran? We can rattle it off. The Arab can't understand. If you sit there on the Kaaba and you're reading the Quran. You're reading the Quran. He's listening. MashaAllah. Hey, better than many Arabs. This is, he wants to talk to you. <laughs> you can't speak. You mean to say you can read this book, whole book, and you can't, you can't even say, give me a glass of water? You know that? You can't even say, give me a glass of water, I'm thirsty. You know that? If you're dying, you can't say, ma, ma. <laughs> Amazing situation. What is the reason? 